Well, it's very interesting. I have the opportunity to travel around the world and meet with learning and development and HR professionals in a lot of different geographies. And I've been in India the last few days and met with a lot of senior leaders in India. And I'll tell you, the world here is a little bit different. In the United States, for example, the learning and development profession is very excited about new tools. It's very faddish. It's very um, trendy. There's a lot of focus on what's new, what's hot, should we use virtual reality, should we use this platform or that platform. And that stuff is true here, but in India where companies tend to have slightly lower budgets and they're operating in a more constrained environment, I really think the learning and development professionals are a little more thoughtful about what they're trying to do. Um, there's also a culture in India of developing people for their entire careers, for their whole lifetime because employee development and learning and development in the company is just one small step in your entire lifetime of learning through your entire career. And we are living longer, so we're gonna be learning for a much longer period of time. And so I think there's a concept you know, in India or a context of learning as part of an entire life cycle um, of your entire life. Um, so I think that those of you that are in the India market you know, can look at organizational learning as really a facilitator of career, of employee growth, of personal growth, and of performance and productivity on the job. All of those things come together.